What's up everyone? This is Brad Bourne and this is the 22nd World 3 Report. Got a pretty simple video this time. Uh, I'm just going to update you guys on a few uh, items that y'all gave feedback on uh, last week. So the most important thing probably is the arm on the ledge hang. So a few people said it was a bit too long. And uh, you know, he's kind of a cartoon character so he stretches a bit. So I, uh, but I'm, I'm really bad with that sort of consistency with all the different clips. So I went through and touch that up a bit. Actually got the motion a little better too, I think. Um, and again, the pulling yourself up is still temporary. But I tried to smooth out where the head's moving and all that. I definitely think this, uh, that looks a lot better there. So let's see. Oh, another thing. A few people were saying that uh, it looked a little awkward for Fancy Pants Man. So he's supposed to, you know, be all about being cool and stuff. And, um,. And you know the thing is, he's a very uh, you know round character. I want to show a lot of emotion. And uh, you know, if you're running through and you go down there and then you jump again, go go back up. So you never really see that you know animation. So if the player goes down like that and then sits for a little while, then yeah, it's gonna look. You know, he's just kind of um, reacting to that. So I want the uh, fancy pants man to still kind of be reacting to how the player is playing. Uh, you know, I don't want him to look awkward or anything. That's one of the things I really hate about video games when you can make a main character just look really stupid by spinning him in circles really quick or something. But, um, you know, I still think there's a fairly wide range of uh, emotions that I think he should portray. Uh, and I probably won't stop there, uh, so it'll probably go back to the one-handed grab because that does look a lot cooler. So, you know, Fancy Pants Man goes down, he reacts to it. Cause he just flew off a ledge, grabbed onto it, and then after he settles in, he'll go into a bit more uh, comfortable pose, whatever. So that's that's kind of my plan for that. But yeah, see, you can go pretty quickly, even when you're uh, grabbing the ledge. So that the other thing that I touched up, let's see if I can show it to you easily. Um, one of the few moves I brought over from Mirror's Edge 2D was the ledge hop. So if you're going... So yeah, I made it really quick, so it's kind of hard to show off now, which is good because it felt too stiff before. Let's see if I can get him doing it slowly enough. Uh, a few more tries here. So there you go. So as he's going upward and getting close to the ledge, there we go. You know, he pulls himself up really quickly. So this is good. Um, had a problem with uh, lower ledges mostly, where if you're running into them quickly, and that was just me running upward. Let's see, just a way to keep the character moving. If there's, uh, you know, like lower ledges and you're jumping over them quickly, and you're, you know, the bottom of your foot, or even if it doesn't look like your foot should be hitting it, now you'll do a much quicker little hop there. So it's one of those clips that you probably won't even notice it's going on, but if it wasn't there, you'd wonder why it was, uh, you know, why it felt stiff. So that's just one of those things. Yeah. So he'll. Uh, you know, won't really stop if you want him to keep going now. And so, let's see, when I was working on that, uh, this is a bit more code oriented, but I like how much smoother this looks. So if I'm hanging and I go, actually, you know, last last week I was talking about Limbo. And, uh, you know, I thought about it. Well, I am uh, an animator and a programmer, so I really wanted to try to get... Uh, the ledge to run was the transition and I thought Limbo had this really super slick uh, movement. So I went through again and I had it to where Fancy Pants Man kinda, uh, you know, it forces him to go up quicker and the camera would, uh, see so he kinda did it there because he landed. There we go. So before the uh, Fancy Pants Man's clip was actually going upward and if you see it in an earlier video, see the camera uh, kinda jolts a little bit and yeah he's doing it there. I'll have to fix that later. Yeah, I'm trying to get him doing that consistently. Um, but so I actually put a few more things in to keep the camera from following him too closely. Um, I'm actually also, it's the same thing I use when you're jumping. So when you go down, the camera goes faster than Fans Pants Man. So I just want to extend that to everything. And so when you duck, it's actually using that variable, which now I can push upward and look upward. And, you know, I'll need another animation for that, looking up and doing something goofy or whatever. Um, but that mostly just leaves the camera being, ah, if you would stop doing that, being really, really smooth transitioning there, even with the hop. And uh, I actually did a few really nerdy um, 
kind of snapping with the, the ledge hop to make it uh, really, really smooth. Skip a few frames if you're too high up. Uh, I kind of pull you down to the ledge a bit slower instead of snapping them right to it now. So I really, really, I really, really like how that turned out. Um, like I said, hopefully nobody notices it because if they notice it, then I'm doing something wrong. So let's see. Is there anything else? No, I think that's really about it. Um, hopefully next video will have a bit more batty things. Those are a bit more fun to show off. Uh, but yeah, this week, uh, well, I was working on a lot of stuff later in the game, which is good news for you guys because it's really awesome stuff. But uh, it's going to be a surprise because it's really, really cool. I don't want to spoil a surprise. Yeah, you can see. We'll have that fixed by the, by the time the beta's out or the game's out, which I still don't know what's going to happen, so don't ask me. Um, but speaking of that, actually, we set up, with the help of my lovely assistant, my wife, um, set up a Facebook page. So we have yet another way to follow World 3, so I want to keep it as easy as possible. Um, so of course all the main news is going to go to BornGames.com and then um, if you go to there uh, you can, or if you're <laughs> viewing this video you can pretty easily go to subscribe from YouTube. Uh, you'll be seeing all the videos every week. And then on the Facebook page, if anybody would rather check their Facebook than their email, which a lot of people do nowadays, um, there's a little box for that on my site on the top right. And you can go ahead and like that, and um, you know, keep up. We'll be posting all the videos on there, and uh, any major news. So you get a few more options now on uh, how you want to keep up with everything. So don't worry, when I do have a date for World Three uh, and the beta and all that, y'all will be the first to know. So I'm making sure, uh, you know, I'm not gonna try to keep that a secret once that's actually announced. Um, so there should be plenty of ways for everybody to, fi to find out about that. But uh, yeah, that's it. Go ahead and subscribe on your uh, medium of choice. And um, see you guys next week.